be in the parking lot or on it. No, I work I work for the people. I work for people to try to teach them the rights so they don't do stupid uh, DUI tests and stuff like yeah. that. Don, this is a closed business. I need you out of the business. It's not your business, is it? Okay, I need you out. Because it right business? now it's closed, so I need you out of the is business. It your business. It's closed though. Is it your business? It's a city ordinance, you can't be in here. Wait, is this one of the out of the there business? There are very few. I don't know about that, John. Yeah, you, no, no, no. You gotta go road. find the sign. Okay. Yeah, there's a, the, the city. This doesn't say everything. I, I you, I have as much right to be here as no. you do. No. Okay. Well, then over there in the grass. I'll, I'll be right here. This no. is where. No. In I'm the going. grass. No, I'm not going in the grass. Right? Yes, you're gonna be off of their business. I'm not business. going in the grass. I'm not going in the grass. Keep going. There you I'm go. I'm not going in the grass. There you go. Keep going. Back up. This is as far as I'm going. No, you're gonna get off of their business. As far as I'm going. Go. What about what, this guy's fine over here? Come on. This guy's fine over here. We're gonna move him too. Yes, I'm actually. You're gonna move him too. There you go, John. There you go. I'm back. I'm not gonna tell you again. After the business. I'm not on Come the business. Yes, you are. You're in the parking so lot. Go deal with your stop. And Come on. Me. Go deal with your stop and Come on. Me. Go, well, then there you go. go. Fuck yourself, man. All right. Go fuck yourself, Tyrant. Good for your views, right? Huh? That's what you want. Man, the last time you said that, I got a million views, dude. The last time you said that. Thanks again. Dude, don't take the test, man. Don't take it. Tell him you weren't your lawyer. Don't take the test. I guess it makes any difference. Don't take the test, man. You can't win. You're interviewing for your freedom, man. This random guy is cool here. I'm not cool here, so. Like, it makes any difference, guys. Watch this. Watch. Does that make any difference? Does that make any difference? Can he not hear me? Can I not hear him? It makes no difference. You're going to be a tyrant, you're going to be a tyrant. You doing okay, sir? Guy. This is Clute, by the way. Guys, let me just keep this in mind. This stop actually started over here on the road. So this is a brand new tactic for Clute. Let's move him into a private business where John can't see or record. I, I mean, at this point... I have just as much right to be here as he, he, he does. We Neither one of us have a right to be here. I just want to point out, he told me stay in the grass. I'm in the grass. There's lots of green grass. See the green grass?
And you need a few bucks to get you something to drink or something? Are you sure? You good? All right, man. Mm. They said it would be cool if you stayed here. So. I do this to teach people their rights. That's why I do it. The moment he asks you to get out of the car, you're already going to jail, man. If you need a ride, let me know. I got you. They probably won't take him to jail just to prove I'm wrong. This guy hates me so much. He's probably not going to take him to jail just to prove me wrong. Alright, we're going back over here. Sir, I hope you have a good night, man. Be safe. <coughs> what do you guys think? You think he's going to jail or not going to jail? Medina, I gotta go around this tree, man. Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. Of course. Thank you for your concern. Looking out for me, man. I want you to fall. Yeah, you would hate for me to fall, huh? I would hate it, huh? Yes, I know. He said he hoped you fall, not me. <laughs> you want me to take under arrest? We're driving out of there. You already need to take some of the rest. Will you turn around for me? Man, you want me to save your truck for you? I'm going to turn around? Yes. What? You're driving along and talking to me. Man, this is what I was trying to warn you about. This is what I was trying to warn you about. Like you're praying? Like you're praying? This way. Okay. Is that good? Guys, thank you very much for watching. Little mic, right here. Nothing in your pocket is gonna poke me with stigma. Wallet, phone. Wallet, phone. Wallet, phone. Wallet, phone. Go ahead and hit some hearts and thumbs, some angry face. We're not gonna end just yet, but go ahead and do that for me. What did I tell you guys? The you moment you get out of the car, you're screwed. You're screwed the moment they tell you to get out of the car. You have nothing to gain at that point. You're just providing evidence against yourself. That's all this is about. Yeah, the moment they ask you to get out of the car, you're screwed. You're done. You're done. You're going to have a bad night. But see, now he's provided evidence against himself. He could have a bad week. He could have a bad month or possibly a bad year. Right? It's years. And $10,000. It, it does cost you $10 for an Uber. $10,000 for a uh, DUI, just so you know. So we, don't, we don't suggest ever drinking and driving. You guys, my number's on the page. My number, my actual phone number that rings to me is on my page. I am out here driving around all night. Hit me up. If I can't pick you up, I can get somebody to pick you up. It's better than these guys picking you up. So am I going to make your front page now? You're on, man. You're on. Dude, I hope that the last time you said you do this review, that video got 1.4 million views. I hope this one does the same thing, man. 
You guys share it. Let's get this one to 1.4 million views. You guys share the video right now. Share it. Share it while we're here. I got it. Hit that share button for me. How much do you pay your bills, dog? Huh? How much do you pay your bills? How much do I pay my bills, man? Uh, my bills? How much do you pay your bills? One more time. My bills? My bills are paid, man. This nice young lady didn't say a word to me. She did good. He can't help her. No well, hats off to him for leaving the homeless guy alone. That was cool. No, John's not 95. Basically, 95 means you're hostile. John's not 95. Your customer's going to be 11.32. I hope my life comes in a little bit. Mosquitoes are bad, huh? Yes, they are. You want to see him trigger? Watch this. I'm going to walk to the front. Get out of the road, John. Get out of the road. I want you to hit. Get out of the road, John. Y'all think he really doesn't want me to get hit? What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Turn off the lights so we can see a little better in there. So a minute guys, he's going to read him a piece of paper and at that point, once he reads you this piece of paper, this is the only point you got to make a decision. If you want your license to be in 90 days or 180 days, at this point, this is what you have to do or you lose your license for 180 days if you don't take this. That's in Texas anyway, check your local goal. So. Okay. When you hear when you hear this piece of paper, this is the one you want to just you have to make a decision. So you are under arrest for the offense of riding like a hacking or something to move while you're operating a motor vehicle in the place or watch that on complicated like often under section one of the four school one law character. So you have to give a specimen of your direct and low blood expression being asked to be analyze to determine the outcome of the creature, the presence of most of the most dangerous to the other person in the box. So you approve the Give the specimen and you may be admissible and set this prosecution. The license permit and permit to operate a motor vehicle is extremely denied. 
will be suspended or denied for not less than 180 days, whether or not you are subsequently prosecuted for this offense. If you refuse to submit to a statement of assessment, the officer may apply for a warrant authorizing you to return to the state of Congress. If you are 21 years of age or older and submit to a statement of assessment, you will have a statement of assessment to show that you have not filed for this offense. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember, always support the police. Never talk to the police. Let me see some hearts, some thumbs, some angry faces. So it's at that point that you have to make a decision, is what I was trying to say, basically. When they read you that piece of paper, it's that is the only part that's actually required, okay? All the other, the, the dancing in the streets and, and, and talking and answering questions, and that all is not necessary. You have no consequences. There's zero consequences for not doing that. No consequences. However, when they read you that piece of paper, at that point, that's where he's getting consent for uh, blood, blood tests or breath tests. I think Luke does blood. They'll go to take this guy to the hospital afterwards and he'll draw his blood. But it's at that point that if you refuse that part, you automatically lose your license for 180 days. Now, let me put this into perspective for you, right? What are the odds that you're convicted if you don't take the test? If you don't take the blood test, what are they going to use to convince you? That's if that's, that's that's for people that would actually fight it, right? Now the sad part about it is we live in a a police state now where nobody fights anything. Not John. John fights a speeding ticket, right? I fight everything, but nobody fights anything. Nobody. They show up, they pay their money, and that's and then uh, everybody pulls back the blue and buys them lunch and stuff. That's all they do. Nobody fights anything. And this is why every day our rights are just completely, every day, every day. Guys, thank you very much. Watch for notifications. We'll be out.